What's going on, guys? Got a little review for this week. It's going to be on the Hedden Super Spook Jr. And these are the uh, top water walk the dog style bait. Um, I've got several of them, so I'll go ahead and give you a closer look. Okay, guys. So, like I said, the Hedden Super Spook Juniors. Um, this is a uh, Hedden is a, a company just like last week's Rebel company with the Rebel Popper. This is the uh, uh, head and company that's under the umbrella of the um, the Pradco. You can find them on the LureNet.com uh, website. So uh, Spooks, they're the walk the dog style bait. They're the ones that zigzag on top of the water. Uh, very effective in the uh, in the summertime, in the spring, in the late or in the early fall. Uh, they've got several different sizes, several different kinds. They've got the Super Spook which is a three hook style. It's a little bit longer. It's a five inch, seven eighths of an ounce. They've also got the uh, Zara Spook, which is um, four and a half inches and three quarters of an ounce. And then they've got, let's see, they've got a Magnum Zara Spook. And then they've got, um, let's see, the Zara Puppy, which is three inches and a quarter of an ounce. And they've also got the new the new ones are the Rattle and Spook and the One Knocker Spook. Those are four and a half inches, three quarters of an ounce. But I find that the Super Spook Junior is a very, very effective size. So that's mainly what I use. Uh, it's just kind of a good all-around size, which is what you see here. So the measurements on that one are three and a half inches, and they weigh in at a half an ounce. They've got tons of colors. They've got uh, number four size Excalibur rotating hooks on them. These are the hooks that come with them. You can see that, let me focus here, there we go. You can see that they're the rotating style Excalibur hook. Um, and they're actually pretty decent hooks, but I went ahead and replaced them. Uh, these are the Gamakatsu, uh, just the uh, short shank round bend hooks. So uh, I prefer the black nickel hooks over anything else and the Excalibur rotating hooks aren't uh, plated with anything. So I changed them out. These are number fours, number four style hooks or number four size hooks. Um, and then what I was going to say was they have two main uh, categories of the Super Spook Juniors. They have the ones that are equipped with saltwater hooks and then they have ones that are equipped with freshwater hooks. And I have a couple of both. Um, what you see in front of you, um, this one right here is equipped with... Uh, well, not anymore, but they, they come equipped with the uh, um, freshwater hooks. And then this one, and this one actually, you can see it says saltwater right on it. So go ahead and focus on it. Um, this one comes equipped with the same Excalibur rotating style hook, but uh, instead of it being this brown color or this uh, bronze color, it is, uh, it's more of like a, a gray tin color. So uh, let's see, we have one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen different colors in the salt water style. And then you have three, six, nine, eighteen, about twenty-one in the freshwater hook style, which is mainly what I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over the colors that I have. This first one here is uh let's see, it's called Florida Bass. And don't be confused with uh, baby bass because they have uh, two different bass colors. They have the baby bass and then they have Florida bass. This one's Florida bass and it's kind of uh, um, transparent. You can kind of see through it a little bit. So there's Florida bass. I'm going to go through the rest of them kind of quickly. This is the saltwater style hooks, even though I changed them out to gamas. Um, this one is speckled trout, and the reason why I got this one is because it's a, it's a trout pattern, and I wanted the trout pattern even though it's uh, a saltwater one, so uh, I got this one. And then I have, let's see, they have two different bone colors. This is the freshwater style, the have the, uh, the Freshwater one is just this, uh, more of this flat finish. And then in the uh, saltwater one, it's kind of, it's got like a holographic finish. So this one's bone. And 
And then this one, very popular color, Black Shore Shad. Good for the early morning, late evening. Uh, here's another saltwater one. This one's black chartreuse gold insert. And then this one is a pretty good one in the area that I live. Um, let's see, this one is Oaky Shad. Oaky Shad. So, uh, talk about the baits a little bit. Let's see, let's find one. Here's one that is kind of, holog or not holographic, but transparent. Uh, you can see that it has that ball bearing in the back. That helps these guys sit in the water like this. And when you get them going, they start zigzagging like this. When you're, when you're working them uh, correctly, you can use like a, a split ring or a loop knot or something like that. But um, with these, uh, this ball right here, actually acts kind of as a rattle. Uh, so when you get them going, yeah, that ball's knocking pretty good in there. And you can hear it from, a, from quite a distance. So uh, I don't really know why they, have, why they came out with the one knocker because this ball in here really acts as a one knocker. I can see why they came out with the rattling style ones in the bigger version, but this ball in here uh, is plenty of rattle for, for, what, for what it is. So, um, they also uh, have these 3D eyes on them. They're not painted. They are uh, a legitimate three-dimensional eye. So that's kind of a nice little deal. Uh, the Super Spook Juniors, are there's really not a lot to these guys. I mean, some of them, you can kind of see this one has a little bit of the uh, scale pattern on it. It's not really uh, etched into it. Uh, they do have this raised gill that you can see right to the left of the of the eye. So right behind the eye, it has that little raised gill, and they all have that. So, uh, but there's really not a lot to these things. These are just uh, it, it's just like last week with the pop art. It's a reaction bait, so there doesn't need to be a whole bunch of uh, of uh, uh, detail involved with these because of the fact that they are. Uh, mainly bitten because of the movement that they make so um, so or the sounds that they make so and they've been very effective for me I really enjoy fishing with these there's a lot of them there's a lot of like with the Sammies and stuff the Sammies are very very nice but if you're looking for something that's a that's a more of a budget for you check out the head and super spook junior this is a perfect size I'll go ahead and do a measurement on it Let's see with that hook it's three and three quarter inch and then without the hook or without the uh, the ring on both sides it's like three and five eighths so with the with the rings on both sides it's like three and three quarter inches long and then without the rings on both sides it's something like three and five eighths three and a half inches so check these things out, guys. They come in a lot of different patterns, and uh, you get a lot of bang for your buck with these guys because they're only five and a half bucks, six bucks. So check them out. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do another review next week. I'm either going to do them on the bronze eye next week or a buzz bait, like the Booyah buzz bait or a Gans buzz bait or something like that. So I'm still conflicted on which one I'm going to do. But thanks for watching and stay tuned.